Now that you know how to register and log in to SCM Globe and a little bit about the account management page, let's talk about getting started with creating your supply chains. We'll just start with a clean map. So we click on the new supply chain. We'll call this supply chain one and then we click create and we will come to a blank map of the world and we can zoom in to wherever we want to create our supply chain. We'll keep this very simple so we'll just zoom into a spot in the American Midwest. Let's pick a city like Indianapolis and we'll make a little supply chain that runs between Indianapolis and Columbus, Ohio. Think about a supply chain always being a combination of four objects and those objects are shown in the tabs on the right. Products is the first one, facilities, vehicles, and routes. The first thing we do is we create products. So you click on the products tab, click on new, a dialog box comes up. We will call this product A. Let's say its price is $200. Let's say its weight is 20 kilograms. We use the metric system of weights and measures throughout SCM Globe. Let's say it is a quarter of a cubic meter and we click on update. If we want to create another product, we would create new again and create product B. Its price is $100. Its weight is 10 and its size is, let's say, point five. And there you have it. If we want to edit it, you highlight it and you click edit and then you can change whatever you want. And let's say, oh, the, the size is really one entire cubic meter. Update that. All right. Now that we have defined products, <coughs> we move on to facilities. Click on the facilities tab, click new to create a new facility. And we will type in its name. Let's call this the Indy factory. And it is in Indianapolis, Indiana. And it is a factory. And its storage capability for products, let's say, is actually 15. 1,000 cubic meters. Its daily operating cost is, let's say it's uh, $2,000. That could be any unit of currency. And then for every product, for every facility, we assign products to that facility. We click on the product line. Up comes a dialog box. In the drop down here are the products that we have defined for this supply chain. We'll pick product A. Now for this facility, is there demand for product? Does it produce product or is how much is on hand? We'll leave the demand at zero. It defaults because it's a factory to producing 70 of those units per day. Let's say it makes two or 100 instead. Quantity on hand is 500 already. And then the storage is currently being used is minimal. We will add that. Now if we want to also create product B in this factory, we would go like that. And then we will say, oh, the de that we make 200 of those. And we have 1,000 of those on hand. We still have plenty of storage capacity available. We'll add that. If I want to change something, instead of making 100 a day, maybe we only make uh, 50 per day of those. You see the pattern, and I will then, the last thing is if I press save without placing the factory on the map, it gives me a warning. So, yep, okay, I got to put it here. I want to put it there on Indianapolis. I can zoom in and get as particular as I want. I can go right down to the individual lot. 
Uh, in this case, we will just drop it there on Indianapolis. I can always draw, drag and drop that. Oh, let's put it right there near that intersection right there. Of those two highways. Okay, there we have it. I press save. Now, for that facility, let's say that that facility is making products that are starting to be sold in a store in Columbus. So we will add another facility. I'm going to click New. And we'll call this the Columbus Store. It's in Columbus, Ohio. It is a store. It's less storage capacity. We'll say it's got an operating cost of 500. Now we add products to that store. The demand for product A, let's say, is 50. And we have four days supply on hand, 200 already. We add that. Also, this store sells product B, so we click on product again and we go to product B and the demand for that let's say is 200 and we've got 400 on hand all right we add that and we press save up oh, but we forgot to place it on the map so let's go and place that there right on the map and the lo the icon for store shows up Okay, that looks good. We'll save it. Now what we're going to do is we create a vehicle to move products between the factory and the store. Let's say that vehicle is based in the Indy factory, so we select that. Now we click on the Vehicles tab. There are no present ones. We click New, and we will make this. We have different types of vehicles. We have defined trucks, trains, ships, and planes. We'll call this a truck. We'll call this the the Indy to Columbus truck. And its carry volume is 30 cubic meters. The amount of weight, let's say, is 2,000 kilograms. Speed is 90 kilometers an hour. That's about 55 miles an hour. Operating cost, let's say, is 60 cents per kilometer. Delay, let's say it's a daily truck, so we'll run it every 24 hours. Okay, that looks good. And there we have that. Now, for that truck running to Columbus, we need to create a route. So, there are no routes available at present. We click on New, and then we name this, and we'll call this the Indy Columbus Route. And now the available fact, the available stops. We only have one other place where it could be, but if there were other facilities we had defined in the supply chain, they'd all be here. We will collect, select the Columbus store, and then we will press this button here, and it will then draw in that route. If you select trucks or trains, the route will default to what it looks like, what looks like the best road map. If I said, oh, I, I know that there's a problem here, I, I, I want to go around a certain problem, I can drag and drop and move my route out like that. And there you have that. Now I want to assign products to that route. And I will, for product A, my demand in that store is 50. My truck can only carry 30, though. So I'm going to say, let's carry, uh, what? 10 of those and we'll add that and now my next product will be product B and my demand there is 20 so I'll give the rest of my capacity to that 
and we'll say okay 40 we add there you have it and if, if this oh you know I want to make that 20 instead that's 10 isn't good so 20 and there you have it now we have checks in there so I've tried to carry more than my truck can handle so I'm gonna to have to delete, drop it back to 10 but we'll go with this press update and now I have created a simple supply chain by defining and combining the four objects which are products, facilities, vehicles, and routes.